playmates since birth. Many just don't believe pit bulls and small children are a good mix. But one Oskaloosa family can't imagine life without their four-legged family members. I decided to get some and best decision I've ever made. The three pit bulls are an integral part of a home filled with comfort, laughter, and most of all, love. It's also a breed that's against the law in Ottumwa. The same city code that forbids lions, tigers, and sharks includes a ban on pit bulls. The breed was banned shortly after a 2002 attack that left a two-year-old girl dead. Now more than a decade later, owners think the time to lift the ban has come. Pitbull owners argue that there are no bad dogs, just bad owners. This law has kept this family from moving to Ottumwa. If I didn't have pit bulls, I would be living there right now because I obviously work there. But I won't get rid of my dogs. <laughs> They're my babies. She told me her pit bulls are gentle around her three-year-old son. They're actually really calm and submissive around him. Ottumwa officials say the ban has reduced the number of dogs and attacks, but it hasn't completely eliminated either. Atumwa Animal Control Officer Jeff Williams spends his days scoping out Atumwa's neighborhoods, picking up dogs on the loose and returning them to their owner. 10-4, 10-8, animal picked up. He said he gets reports of pit bulls in the area at least once a week. We have a zero tolerance on pit bulls, so if we catch a person with a pit bull, they're pretty much automatic a ticket is given. And if there are pit bulls, there are likely to be attacks. The most recent happened last spring, sending a 10-year-old boy to the hospital with serious injuries. If that dog wasn't here in town, this boy would have been perfectly fine right now. So he's, he's scarred for life. There are five kennels back here, and each of them have heating and cooling systems so that when the dogs are picked up and taken to the vet, they don't get too hot or cold. If Williams comes across a pit bull, it's also taken to the vet and the owner has a week to claim their pet. Owners are then ordered to remove the dog from city limits. Despite opposition, the city is standing by its law. Unfortunately, at this time, while I would like to not in the long term necessarily see breed specific legislation either, uh, the alternative I don't think is, is what's going to work for this community right now. Rose supports keeping the ban in place, even though he understands the dogs are not ultimately responsible for the attacks. Most of the time that animals become vicious is because of the nurturing that they've had, the environment or lack thereof that they've had. Reporting in Ottumwa, Beth Walden, KTVO News.